Hey, it's Denise from LumaHead.com. I just finished my block stitch scarf and I'll put a link to the pattern in the description. But like the end of every project, it's time for the dreaded weaving of the ends. Ugh. All right, like you, I normally use a crochet hook or some kind of yarn needle, but have you ever considered using something different from these tools? Well, the hook nook has this end weaver and it's very much like a crochet hook, but it has a latch. So that latch opens up and you feed the tool through your loops. And when you reach the other end and you grab the yarn, the latch closes up and the strand weaves through your loops. Unlike a latch hook for the rug, this one has a really long neck and I know it's irrelevant, but a really cute handle. So how do you use the end weaver to weave in your ends? Haha, -ha, let me show you. So first figure out how far you want to feed the strand of yarn through, right? For me, I want it to end um, like right here. So that's where I'm going to start with the hook. I'm gonna feed it through that loop. And you'll notice that as I feed the hook through, the latch is going to open. And my first concern when I saw this was that it was going to hook onto my yarn and cause a problem, but actually it doesn't. Then the next thing you wanna make sure is that you clear that hook through the other end all the way. Then grab the yarn or the strand of yarn that you want to feed through. And as you pull, that latch is going to close up and secure that strand of yarn and it's going to easily then feed through all of the loops. See, till it reaches the other end. Now, personally, I like uh, turning my project around and pulling the strand in the opposite direction. I feel like it secures it better. And so you see that I can easily feed the hook through those loops grab my strand of yarn again, and it doesn't matter how small it is, you see this can really grab even a very small piece of strand. It closes and then easily pulls through those loops. And what's cool about this is that the hook is so long, so you have all of that extra um, tool that will allow you to do a really long strand of yarn. And the tool's really smooth. So you really don't have to worry about it hooking onto your yarn or doing any damage. And again, it's a good looking tool, right? So personally, I am not going to be using the crochet hook or those needles to weave in the ends anymore. I'll only be using the hook nook and weaver, which I'm really happy with. All right guys, that's it. Hey, and be sure to check out the block stitch video. I'll put a link for that one too.